Hey, what's up, YouTube? Sorry, it's been a long time since I uh, made a video. I've been uh, working like crazy. This is like the first time I got a day off, so, um, and I'm not sick or something or having to do something. Anyway, so I'm going to do my first engine rebuild and uh, show you what I'm going to do here. Here's my intake. I'm doing a D16Y8, and so right there we got our throttle. I don't know how shape that is. I got to clean that up and take a look at it. That's pretty sure that's a bad uh, idle air control valve or something like that. And so I'll probably need another one of those. What I did is I got on Craigslist and uh, worked with a buddy of mine and I picked up a, um, a uh, an engine that was uh, went through a swap. Some put like a B-series engine in it and they had this one. And so I picked it up and they actually started tearing into it a little bit. Well, a lot. You'll see here in a second. Uh, which is good for me because I would have had to tear it apart anyways. And... Uh, so I can't remember how much I picked this engine up for, I don't know, under 200, maybe 100, 150 to 200. I can't even remember. It's been a while since I got the parts. I had not any time to work on it. So what I'm going to do is, uh, right there, I'm going to take off that fuel rail, get in here, and you got your fuel injector. So I'm going to pull that off and uh, probably take off all the little knick-knacky stuff, which most of it's connected to that fuel rail and those fuel injectors, and uh, save my heater hose. Little things like this is what costs your money is your heater hoses and stuff like that because you want to get the fitted one. And so what I'll do is I talked to my machine shop today and uh, I'm going to get the, I'm going to hot tank and then inspect all the part, have them inspect all the parts for me. They said it probably cost $150. And I'll show you the rest of the parts that I'm going to do. So it's going to, I'm going to hot tank this so that intake should come out really nice looking and clean. And uh, I'll go show you the rest of the parts. I got to kind of like tear them all apart and start loading up in my car and uh, start taking it down to the machine shop and anyways uh, so I figure this would make a kind of a neat video all right so here I am in my shed which is like oh way over full so hopefully this will help me get it cleaned out and uh, if you hear some noise the dogs are here they're kind of excited to see me because like I said I've been working like crazy I've been working like six days a week almost all time overtime and everything so I don't even get to pet them or anything um, so what do we got here? So I got two motors in here actually. This is a uh, should be my uh, automatic transmission that I got out of a, a D16Z. Or I saying that wrong? I got a, a Z6 engine, so that's a transmission that should go on a Z6. I got this mess here. This is a bad block inside there um, for a Z6, and so I figured I was gonna strip out as much parts as I could out of that box. Somebody, I had it. I got it as part of an engine swap trade. And uh, it's got a rod that went through the side. I actually got the head and the transmission and everything for real cheap in exchange for another motor I had. And anyways, it was a part of a swap deal. And so that's another project. But here's my, uh, right there's uh, what I'm working with. I got my Y8. That should be, uh, yeah, that's my uh, block there. They already pulled the oil pan off. That's over there back in the corner back there. And then there's the head. I believe that's the right head. And um, I got what's left of a... I think that was a D fifteen B seven or something there. So it's good for parts and some of the parts you can use on other motors. So my game plan is oh, you can't even see it. I think underneath the pistons there I got the um cam shaft or crankshaft on the floor there. So I'm just gonna load up basically the block, the head with the rock arm assembly, give them also the um, uh, oil pan back there, and on top of the oil pan up on up there is uh, should be my valve cover. So I'm just going to take all that down to my machine shop, and uh, I probably have to shoot. I should like clean some of this up first. Like they don't need the plastic on all that stuff. So I'll see how it goes. But I need. I might have to strip this stuff out more. But anyways, we need to get it down to the machine shop so we can start hot tanking it. And then we can uh, do measurements and see if we can even rebuild this engine. Anyways, so that's what I'm up to right now. Alright, so I uh, stripped down my uh, intake there. Got my throttle, took off all the little plastic pieces and stuff. That hose I was hoping to save because those are expensive. Uh, it was kind of dry rod when I got looking at it, so I just cut it off. So... There's my fuel injectors and stuff. So what I'm going to do is i got to get this stuff loaded up in the car. 
And then uh, when I get back, I'm going to back put this all in Ziploc bags so I remember what goes where. Uh, most of the stuff I'm concerned about is uh, just like these little bolts here and stuff that went off my throttle. I'm thinking, I'm hoping they can uh, hot tank my throttle. I don't know if you can do that or not. Anyways, uh, let me get this loaded in the car there. Okay, here's going to be my uh, first run. I don't run with a passenger seat. Um, and it makes it really convenient for hauling car parts around and stuff. So here's my... Uh, Head and valve cover just got laying on there. There's that intake I was showing you. Throttle, fuel rail, and oil pan. And that's like a transmission mount deal. But I figured I might as well hot tank that too. Anyway, so I'm getting ready to make my first run to the machine shop. And I'm going to drop this stuff off. And I'm going to get the um, block uh, after I get back. Because it's going to take up most of this room. Anyways, there I go. Alright, so I'm uh, back... I took uh, the engine block in, made two runs, took all those parts in from the car for the first run, and then came back and uh, put the engine block inside the um, car. It was pretty heavy, um, but it wasn't as heavy as I thought it was going to be. And uh, I was able to lift it out of the car when I got there. I was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to be strong enough. I had my son put it in the car for me. Um, and they said they could hot tank all that stuff for me, and, and they would uh, tear down anything else that wasn't already tore down. Uh, for the hot tanked it and uh but they said they wouldn't hot tank the um throttle and i can understand that because you probably goof it all up if you hot tanked it because there's you know springs and stuff on it and uh so i'll just manually clean that up so all i got left now is i'm just uh like i bagged up my fuel injectors and then uh i'm gonna label them and like i'll label that bracket so i remember where it came off i can tell now it's uh, um goes on the intake and it's for the throttle a guide for the throttle cable and uh, this piece I think is off a different engine anyways and it's bad and I need to get a new one um, and then this will go to my uh, this uh, off the fuel rail they took my fuel rail and they're gonna hot take my fuel rail so that's kind of cool so that should come out all nice and clean and here's that heater hose I just cut it because it was all kind of rotten right around that area so I'll just put a new one and then uh, um, I have to look up what part that was. That was, I remember that was off the um, fuel rail. Anyway, so so I dropped off all the parts and uh, told them to take their time. It's probably a week or two, which is good. It helps me save up some money, and I only get like one day off a week anyway. So, um, yeah, and plus they'll give me time to research out. Next, I gotta uh, get some uh, new. Uh, I'm gonna get some pistons and rods. Um, and they said that they would check out the um, camshaft and crankshaft and then tell me what kind of bearings I need. And uh, they said if they pick them out and spec them out and stuff, I shouldn't have to plastic gauge um, the bearings. They should all just fit right up. So that's a big bonus. Um, so my game plan is after they hot tank it, uh, hopefully by that time I'll research out which uh, pistons I'm going to use. And then um, and I actually might have to wait to get the information back because I don't know if they're going to have to bore board out they're going to check everything out see if it looks okay and uh then my game plan is to bring they're pretty lax down there it's really cool working with them or talking to them and uh i'm gonna take back the engine block first put it on a stand in my shed and then go grab the other parts and start building the engine up from there so when i get done it'll start on the stand with just the block which wouldn't be too heavy and then i'll start adding in like the uh crankshaft and uh, the pistons and I'll hopefully be able to show you, show you all that as I build it back up. So anyway, so this is going to finish up the, I guess I call this part one of my uh, first uh, uh, DY16, or excuse me, D16Y8 engine build. And I'll hopefully let you guys uh, watch along as I do this. Um, hope you like this video. If you like it, hit like. If you want to see more when they come out, just subscribe. And as they come out, uh, you'll see them when they get posted. You'll get notifications. Alright, thanks for watching.